Number 52. Round each of the following numbers to two significant figures. Okay, and then I see I have A through F, so let me just write that real quick. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, so we did one very similar like this, which was number 51. So go back if you want more practice. But right now we're going to pick up the pace a little bit because we already did a problem just like this. But this one is focusing on rounding. So the rules of rounding is whatever number you want to round to. So let's just say we want two sig figs. So you guys should know your sig figs. And I say sig figs, but that's just short for significant figures. So sig figs. So if I have a number like 0 0.371, you should know that this zero in the front is a leading zero and leading zeros never count. So the two sig figs that I want to round here is the three and the seven. And you always look to the next number to see if you can round the seven to an eight or keep it the same number. And the rule is, is that if you have a five or above as your next number, then you will round up. But if you have a four or below, so four, three, two, one, you will keep that number. So since this number is a one, you cannot change this seven to a eight. So this would just be zero point three, seven, and you basically drop that number. That number is only used to just see if you could raise up or keep the same. So that would be two sig figs. So that's like a little example. All right, so let's start. Let's do 517, so letter A. So the first two sig figs that I have is the five and the one. So those are definitely staying, but now you just have to look next door to see if the one will be the same or if it will be raised up. So a seven is greater than five, five or greater. So this one would turn into a two. So it would be five, two. But now here, you need a placeholder for this because there needs to be something here because technically the decimal is after the seven. So what number do we always use for placeholders? Placeholders are always zeros. So you would have to include a zero here. Now do not include a decimal because if you do include that decimal, this zero would count. This would be a trailing zero that counts. But if you don't include that decimal, that zero does not count. So you could either include this as 520, which would give you the two sig figs, or if you wanted to put this in scientific notation, it would be 5.2 times 10 to the second. Now we did a bunch of questions to uh, convert scientific notation back to regular and vice versa. So go and check those questions out, but just know that you had to bunny hop two times, one two to get to where you wanted. So that's why there's a two here. And here are your two sig figs, 5.2. So you could either say 520 for this answer without a decimal or 5.2 times 10 to the second, which would be the same exact answer. So those are your answers for A. So A is done. B, 86.3. So the two sig figs are the eight and the six. The next number just tells you whether you should round up or not, but it's a three, so it should stay a six. So it would just be 86. You do not need a placeholder because the decimal is right here. So this would just be 86, and that's that for that. That's that for that. All right, C. Three, uh, sorry, 6.382 times 10 to the third. So you should know that times 10 to the anything does not count for scientific notation. So you're just going to string that along. So it would be your new two sig fig number times 10 to the third. Now here's my first sig fig, the six. Here's my second, which is the three. The next one will round or tell me if I should round. And it's an eight, so it's five and above. So you should round up. So this three would turn into a four. 
you keep the decimal here, so it would just be 6.4. And those are your two sig figs, so it's 6.4 times 10 to the third, and that's the answer for C. D, 5.0008. So these zeros count because they are the trapped zeros. Know your sig fig rules. So those zeros count. So I'm only going to take one of them because here's my first sig fig. Oops. Here's my first sig fig. And then that one zero is the second sig fig. And I look to the next door neighbor to see if I can raise it up or not. But it's zero, so it's not five or above, so it will stay a zero. So this would just be 5.0. Box it off. That's your answer. E, 22.497. So let's get our two sig figs, the two and the two. The next number will tell you if you can round, but it's a four, so it's not five or above. So the 2 will stay. So this would just be 22. And you forget all the other ones because they are more than 2 sig figs. So that would be 2 sig figs for E. And then last but not least, F, 0.885. This 0 is a leading 0. And remember, leading zeros never count. So we don't care about that. That's not going to be a sig fig. So we start here. This is my first sig fig, and that's my second. And now I look at the five, and it's five or above. It falls into that category, so this eight would round up to a nine. So you can say 0 0.89, or if you wanted, you could just say 0 0.89. I mean, that's the same exact thing. Why did I draw a seven? I don't know. So you, I just have a habit of putting the zero in the front, but you don't have to. Um, so I'm just going to erase those. And if you wanted to put this in scientific notation, it would be 8.9 times 10 to the negative 1. Here's the decimal. you got to move over one spot, so that's why it's a 1. And it's negative because the overall number was less than 1. So either one, 0 0.89 or... 8.9 times 10 to the negative first, either one would be acceptable answers for two sig figs rounded. All right, guys, these are all the answers. Let me just check this off just for, you know, completion's sake. If this helped you out, click that subscribe button. We have tons of more questions coming your way, which will help you out. Um, and yeah, I mean, other than that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. It's getting a little hot here, so... It's summertime, almost, so I'm excited about that. But anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day.